Florida's toughest immigration crackdown to date just days away from taking effect. And critics say it impacts and the impacts are being felt as undocumented migrants and their families flee. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has more on this new law. Since the day it was announced, Florida's latest immigration package has been met with controversy. A law backed by the governor now set to go into effect Saturday. The incentives to come illegally in Florida have been dealt with. Among the provisions, cutting social services for undocumented immigrants, another 12 million tax dollars for the state's controversial migrant relocation program, and harsher penalties for knowingly transporting or hiring those without proper paperwork. Well, I think it's a shame and I think it's sad. Their measures formerly undocumented like Thomas Kennedy call cruel. We've already been seeing for over a month now uh, the economic and societal impacts of this law, right? The fact that immigrants and their families are leaving the state. That's causing concern for not only undocumented, but businesses who worry the departures are weakening the state's workforce. Florida should be ashamed of itself for passing one of the worst immigration laws in the entire country. Organizations like the Farm Workers Association of Florida say their phones have been ringing off the hook even before the new law's effective date. The farm workers in our communities are very afraid and very confused and concerned. Republicans have touted the departures as evidence that the bill is working. So the sooner we can get this into law, the sooner we'll have the statutory authority to do what we need to do. Across Florida, organizations are planning to push back against the law, whether that's protesting Saturday or in the courts in the future. Reporting in Tallahassee, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.